I got the same problem with sauerkraut. Hold on. Back up. Are you saying this whole volcano can blow at any time? No, 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 no. That would take an explosive force of great magnitude. Maybe I should do this later, huh? If we could blow the top off of that thing, we'd have a straight shot to the surface. Mr. Thatch, what do you think? Mr. Thatch? Thatch? Hey, wait! Jefferson Davis. It's beautiful. Milo, I gotta hand it to you. You really came through. But I take that back. Holy cats, who are these guys? They, they gotta be Atlanteans. What? That's impossible. I seen this back in the Dakota. They can smell fear just by looking at you. So keep quiet. I think it's talking to you. Let us know. Parlez-vous français? Oui, monsieur. They speak my language. Pardon, mademoiselle. Voulez-vous... I like her. Hmm. About time someone hit him. I'm just sorry it wasn't me. Buenos dias. How do they know all these languages? Their language must be based on a root dialect. It's just like the Tower of Babel. Well, maybe English is in there somewhere. We are explorers from the surface world. We come in peace. Welcome to the city of Atlantis. Come, you must speak with my father now. Squad B, head back to the shaft, salvage what you can. Yes, sir. We'll rendezvous in 24 hours. Let's go with your I'm so excited. Now, what's really amazing is that if you deconstructed Latin, you overlaid it with a little Sumerian, throw in a dash of Thessalonian, you'd be getting close to their basic grammatical structure, or at least you'd be in the same ballpark. Someone's having a good time. Like a kid at Christmas. Well, obviously, you don't. Commander, they were not supposed to be people down here. It changes everything. This changes nothing. Take that, Mr. Harcourt. Your Majesty, on behalf of my crew, may I say it is an honor to be welcomed to your city. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Commander? You presume much to think you are welcome here. Well, sir, we have come a long way looking for... I know what you seek, and you will not find it here. Your journey has been in vain. But we are peaceful explorers, men of science. <laughs> and yet you bring weapons. Our weapons allow us to remove obstacles we may encounter. Some obstacles cannot be removed with a mere show of force. Return to your people. You must leave Atlantis at once. Oh, your Majesty, be reasonable. Sir. Not now, son. Trust me on this. We better do as he says. May I respectfully request that we stay one night, sir? That would give us time to rest, resupply, and be ready to travel by morning. Mm -hmm. Very well. One night. That is all. Well, thank you, Your Majesty. Your heart has softened, Kida. A thousand years ago, you would have slain them on sight. A thousand years ago, the streets were lit, and our people did not have to scavenge for food at the edge of a crumbling city. The people are content. They do not know any better. We were once a great people, now we live in ruins. The kings of our past would weep if they could see how far we have fallen. Kida. If these outsiders can unlock the secrets of our past, perhaps we can save our future. What they have to teach us we have already learned. Our way of life is dying. Our way of life is preserved. Kida, when you take the throne, you will understand. So how'd it go? Well, the king and his daughter don't exactly see eye to eye. She seems to like us okay, but the king, I don't know, I think he's hiding something. Well, if he's hiding something, I want to know what it is. Someone needs to talk to that girl. I will go. Someone with good people skills. I will do it. So someone who won't scare her away. I volunteer. Someone who can speak the language. For the good of the mission, I will go. Good man, Thatch. Thanks for volunteering. Go get him, fighter. Okay, Milo, don't take no for an answer. Look, I have some questions for you, and I'm not leaving the city until they're answered. Yeah, that's it. That's good. That's good. I have some questions for you, and you are not leaving this city until they are answered. You, well, I... okay. Shh. Come with me. Oh, there is so much to ask about your world. 
You are a scholar, are you not? Ah, judging from your diminished physique and large forehead, you are suited for nothing else. What is your country of origin? When did the floodwaters recede? Well, How did wait you... Wait a minute. I got a few questions for you, too. So let's do this, okay? You ask one, then I'll ask one, then you, then me, then, well, you get it. Very well. What is your first question? Well, okay, uh, how did you get here? Well, I mean, not you personally, but your, your culture. I mean, how did all of this end up down here? It is said that the gods became jealous of Atlantis. They sent a great cataclysm and banished us here. All I can remember is the sky going dark and people shouting and running. Then, bright light, like a star, floating above the city. My father said it called my mother to it. I never saw her again. I'm sorry. If, it, if it's any consolation, I, I know how you feel because I lost my... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, back up. We, we, what are you telling me? Do you remember because you were there? No, that's, that's impossible because, I mean, that would make you, you know, 85, 88, 100 years old. Yes. Oh, well, hey, uh, looking good. Just, uh, <clears throat> you have another question for me? Yes. How is it you found your way to this place? Well, I'll tell you, it wasn't easy. If it weren't for this book, we never would have made it. Okay, second question. Legend has it that your people possessed a power source of some kind that you enabled them... You mean you can understand this? Yes, I'm a linguist. That's what I do. That's my job. Now, uh, getting back to my question... This, right here. You can read this. Yes, yes, I can read Atlantean, just like you. You can't, can you? No one can. Such knowledge has been lost to us since the time of the Mebelmok. Oh, the Great Flood. Show me. Okay, uh, Ledwig Tem... Follow the narrow passage for another lead. There you will find the fifth marker. Yeah, yeah, that's it. How is my accent? Boorish, provincial, and you speak it through your nose. Yeah, gotta work on that. Here, let me show you something. What? It looks like some sort of vehicle. Yes. But no matter what I try, it will not respond. Perhaps if... Way ahead of you. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. Place crystal into slot. Yes, yes, I have done that. Gently place your hand on the inscription pad. Yes. Okay, did you turn the crystal one quarter turn back? Yes, yes. While your hand was on the inscription pad? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, see, there's your problem right there. That's an easy thing to miss. You know, you deserve credit for even, even getting this far. <laughs> Okay, I'll give it a try. Yeah, you got that right. This is great! With this thing, I can see the whole city in no time at all. I wonder how fast it goes. So, who's hungry? By the way, we were never properly introduced. My name's Milo. My name is Kiragakash. Kiramashinaga. Uh, hey, you got a nickname? <laughs> Kida. Okay, Kida. I can remember that. Wow. What is wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I just got something in my eye. You know, my grandpa used to tell me stories about this place as far back as I can remember. I just wish he could be standing here with me. Tell me more about your companions. Your physician, he is called Cookie? No, that's sweet. What is? The doctor. He's sweet. Oh, he's kindly. No, 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 that's, that's his name. His name is Kindly? No, Sweet. Wait, I mean, he's kindly, too. So all of your doctors are sweet and kindly?